beautiful. And, uh, wet. It is also dangerous. More dangerous than hell? Freya's camp is to the right. No rush, is there? Not every day the lad gets to see a new realm. To Freya's camp, then. Time to see how the Vanir have fared in our absence. I hope Freya's okay. She can care for herself. We're still checking on her, though? Her brother's forces are outnumbered. And there is much I owe her. <gasps> <gasps> Reminds me of a Vanaheim song I heard long ago. No one here. Where is everyone? Stay alert. I don't like this, brother. Kratos, Atreus, a welcome reunion. Unexpected, but welcome. You know us? Can't be. Is that who I think? Oh, you shifty bastard. It's almost good to see you again. And for once in the shape of a man, or nearly. So that's how they got your head out of your ass. Maybe now you'll stop being such a half-blind, piss-drunk, oversexed liar. He was more of a pig than I ever was. I do not know you. Do you not recognize your handiwork? Hildis Vini! Remember when we first met Frey in the woods? After I... Oh. I am so, so sorry about that. Freya's poor. Her advisor. And friend. Counselor to the Vanir. And yes, while exiled at Midgard, I was trapped in my boar form. And then you shot me. At my command. No. My arrow, my mistake. Forgotten. Vanaheim needs our help more than ever. Even Mimir's. Come. Just watch where you aim that bow of yours. My hide's not so thick in this form. We can head out whenever you're ready. Where are we going? I have a favor to ask. I'll explain on the way. Where is Freya? She came here to help her brother. She leads the search party for Freya and Bigfear. They've been captured by the Ainher Yard. How did that happen? An ambush. The presence has intensified since your last visit. To make matters worse, the Celestial Wolves haven't been seen in days. Or at least I assume. Not easy. 
tracking time with no moon in the sky. No moon. Just like in their shrine. Their shrine? It's a long story. You want us to check on them? You have my gratitude. We're spread thin. And if anyone can help Skull and Hati, he'd be a fellow giant. Very well. Freya mentioned you had a way past this. You don't disappoint. Continue down this path and you'll find their den. Good luck. Don't shoot any boars! <laughs> you think he's really forgiven me for shooting him? Trust me, lad. The old swine still carried a grudge. You'd know it. What happened between you two? The usual. Miscommunication, <laughs> conflicting loyalties, broken promises. Nothing to concern yourself with. I'm not concerned. Just curious. Curiosity's all well and good. But so is well. Huh? Okay, okay. Point taken. <laughs> Feels so different from the other realms. It's warm, like Svartalfan, but there's a kind of thickness in the air. Hmm. Egros. Uh, what? Egros. Greek. For humid. Egros. I like it. by a knocking, perhaps. Doubtful.
Going for more loot, huh? I saw a forge back at Freyr's camp. Has Brock been helping them out this whole time? Ah, you haven't met Lunda yet. Who's Lunda? An old contemporary of the Hulder brothers. She serves as Freyr's blacksmith, keeping his team armed and outfitted. Another legendary blacksmith? I bet she has some good stories. Take caution, Atreus. What? Why? She is quite... friendly. <laughs> oh, nonsense. The lad's far too young for her taste. Uh, <laughs> what? I think we can get through here. You know, lad, this excursion into Vanai means you've now visited each of the Nine Realms. Huh. I guess you're right. Not many mortals can claim such a feat. Not many gods either. Even your father has yet to grace the halls of Asgard. I'm in no hurry to do so. Hildas Vini said Freyr and Bigvir were captured. Who's Bigvir? He's a light elf. A former scholar exiled from Alfheim with his wife, Bela. She may be their best warrior. Why was he exiled? You'll have to ask him for the full tale. But I take it that he and Bela's quest to unite their people was frowned upon. Wait, Bela's a dark elf? Yes. Wow. Well, that raises even more questions. Hope he's okay. Ah! 
Nicely done. Amir, you once told us Ragnarok begins when Skull and Hati catch the sun and moon, right? I said it was foretold, lad. Prophecy. Which, after our time with the Norns, we've all had quite enough of. But Odin still believes. That's gotta be why the Aenor Yard stole the moon. He's still trying to avoid Ragnarok. Or he prepares for it. Fights a proxy war in this realm to distract his enemies. Yeah. Or that, I guess. can sense them up there. It's gotta be their den. <laughs> Excited to meet Skull and Hati, lad. I mean, I've heard all your stories. It's gonna be weird meeting them in person. Legend meeting reality. At the very least, it shouldn't fail to entertain. <laughs> uh, hello? I think they're sleeping. Well, there you have it. The legendary celestial wolves. Supremely entertaining, as promised. Remember their shrine? They didn't rejoin the sky until after the moon returned. And then chased an arrow across the sky. Right. Well, best we go find the moon and put it back where it belongs, eh? As if that's a perfectly normal thing to say. The Aenor Yar played a part according to Skull and Hati Shrine. Managed to stuff the moon inside a box, if memory serves. But it didn't say where they took the box. Aye, that's the rub of using prophecy as a map, isn't it? A bit sparse on the details. There's a war camp in the nearby village. A strong fortress to guard their bounty. We will try there first. So besides Hildas Vini and the Elves, <laughs> who else is part of Freya's army? Not much army, really. Although Birger was a soldier, once walking the path of a traveler. I imagine he's handy with that enormous broken sword of his. A traveler that doesn't want to kill us. That's nice. Ain't out of your head. I'm ready. 
Ne en mungere sastirin ne. Alfa değil de bir kez mit. Careful, brother! You're covered in my god! Again. Guess they know we're coming. I can't believe no one's here. They hide. The Vanir aren't all hardened warriors like our dear Freya. Those who survive the warfare find it easier to hide in the jungle and use nature as their shield. Careful, brother. You're covered in my 
Here's hoping that puts a dent in Odin's forces, at least for the time being. I don't think Asgard's running out of soldiers anytime soon. <sighs> <clears throat> Ready to put the moon back where it belongs? Okay, yeah. That is a weird thing to say. Hey! Hurry! She's getting away! Come on! A double ambush? Okay, didn't see that coming. Ow. that you know what we're doing right now all of this it's almost exactly how we saw it play out back in skull and hati shrine the wolves are back in vanaheim we're rescuing the moon yes i remember the prophecy so doesn't it make you worried if everything we're doing now happened in the yonar shrine remember our agreement prophecy will not dictate our actions yeah our allies need help. That is our focus now. Whoa! What is that? Oh, I'm a nasty beast! Oh, Beautiful one! <laughs> 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 this? It's from Helheim. Heimdall must have grabbed this while I freed Garm. Ugh. I was there, but I, I didn't know. And now you fight to undo the damage. Your guilt is misplaced. Yeah. No, you, you're right. We can return to the den through here. They will pursue. Keep your guard up. Father, 
How are you so sure we even have a choice about what we're doing? Doubt is a weakness we cannot afford. Who said anything about doubt? So far, we've done everything the giant said we would. We make our own choices. Nothing forces us. Walking straight into Ragnarok. Isn't there any way to avoid fate? Your fate? What if we can't stop you from. Would you turn your back on the wolves? On this realm? Remember our agreement. does make some good points, though. As long as Atreus lives, so be it. nothing. like inside their shrine. If I do this... Fate only binds you if you let it. Do what is necessary. Not because it is written. Slot. They have a gift for us. A way to call them anytime we need them. Looks like they want us to use it at one of the altars. Huh. Perhaps Freya will know. So in essence, they just gave us the keys of dusk till dawn. Not bad for a day's work. We should head back to Hodespini and tell him about all this. Yeah? Yes. Back to the camp. Wow. This place changes at night. A lot. No less humid, unfortunately. Look out! Behind your brother! 
That wasn't the same one from earlier, was it? No. They come back fast, but not that fast. In Asgard, what else did you see of Odin's army? Well, all these Anhariar we've been fighting, they've already died in battle once. We kill them here, and they'll just wake back up in Valhalla. They never truly die. Should it come to war, we do well to have our own endless army of dead soldiers. You mean Helheim's army, like the prophecy said. It will not come to that. like the egros. So, we report back to Hildesfini, then what? We came here to help Freya. We will not leave without rescuing her brother and the Light Elf. Okay, but Odin's not gonna stop searching for mask pieces. That is his concern, not ours. Sure, but if that mask offers all the answers... Then it will surely exact a price. Be wary of shortcuts to knowledge. Yes, father. Go! 
all the plants here want to kill us? No, no. <laughs> Only the carnaptious ones. Ah, that wrinkly mug belongs to Helka. She's a blossinder. Hounds prized for their pinpoint accurate tracking abilities. You'll love her. Kratos, Atreus. That eclipse was your doing, I take it. Thank you for coming. Big Vir used the diversion to escape. What about your brother? We know where they're holding him now. Bela's already prepped the explosives. If you're with me, we can leave as soon as you're ready. I could use another shapeshifter's help. Go with him, Atreus. I will aid Freya. Yes, sir. The fuse is but 30 heartbeats. That's enough. Once you see the signal, count it down. Your fire blades are looking a little cool. Hand them over. Would have been a shame to have left that behind. Coming up. What's the witch of the woods need? Need something special? Lady Freya? You know what you want? Now, what else was there? Oh, hi. Hey, your little one. Well, he's a cute pie. Should have seen him a couple of winters ago. Ain't even at eye level no more. Oh, you hush. Ain't nothing wrong with a growing boy. Y'all change the ding-dang time of day? Okay, well, that's impressive. So, Brock, if Lunda can step between realms to travel about like you, I presume it must be the guild you know each other from. Maybe. Or maybe I just showed her a few tricks while we were tying one on. Or maybe I showed him. You don't know us, clever pants. Lunda, would you happen to know how your light and dark elf friends came to be involved? You mean Big Fair and Bela? Well, they were both imprisoned by one side or another, or maybe both. Escaped together, been on the run, and absolutely all over each other ever since. A dark and light elf fleeing their people together. Quite a risk. Being in love's always a risk. That's what makes it fun. Hmm. You could say the same about hot cheese. Linda, what do you know of Birger the Traveler? Not much. I ain't the talking type, really. Well, from what I can glean, he walked the path of the Traveler, for a time, then found out something that made him step off it. Hard. Any idea what he saw? No, I'm not sure, but I think he saw what was at the end of the path. And, uh, didn't care much for it. Finding out Odin was pulling their strings all along probably put a colossal kink in his codpiece. The wolves gave us a scepter. 
They will answer, should we call on them. Good. There's a shortcut to Niord's temple we can use in daylight. The Einherjar are holding fair in your father's own temple. It's been empty for as long as I can remember. There's a celestial altar across the river. According to Bigvir, the altars were once used to signal the wolves. And now we have just the scepter to do it. What is your plan? When we reach the temple, I'll fire off the beacon. A signal for Bela and Birger to set off their distraction. The Dark Elf Hive. Nice to not be on the receiving end of it for once. With their attention drawn elsewhere, you and I can assault the main force from behind. While Atreus and Hildesfini slip in to rescue your brother in the confusion. Yes. Once we see their beacon, we'll regroup by the river and escape on Freyr's boat. Stop that wish, brother! Alka! Freya's being held in a prison to the north. Follow Freya, brother. Our last visit. Mm. 
Our disadvantages are many. Incoming! Try dragging the scepter across the bell a few times. Come on, we're making good time. follow the prophecy of the giants. Atreus believes Ragnarok is inevitable. The Norns were quite clear on the nature of prophecy. They told us the sum of our choices were predictable. But we have changed, haven't we? Perhaps. The Norn said you'd kill Heimdall, but you chose not to walk that path. Back when we first met, I doubt you'd have done the same. And you? Do you still seek Ragnarok? Odin has much to answer for. If Groa's prophecy is correct, perhaps my realm can finally know peace. Perhaps I can know peace. Forgive me for being a head on a belt, but haven't we all just established how prophecy is pure havers? <sighs> Gods, my man. What? The most annoying man alive.
More up ahead. On your mark. Careful, that's the Alpha. Tough fight. This way. Alas, poor Neithog. It was in our way. Aye, I don't doubt it. Curious, though. What was she doing here? Odin used roots of the World Tree as part of his spell that kept me from leaving Midgard. Neithog protects the tree's roots wherever they are. Ah, I see. Odin used her. And she unwittingly paid the price. Classic Odin.
Just make extra noise once the assault begins. If we distract them long enough, Hildespini and Atreus will have more than enough time to get in and out undetected. I am not worried for Atreus. He is ready to fight on his own. This is it. There's an altar behind these vines. <laughs> Call on Skull, please. Are you ready? I am. Are you? I'm not leaving here without my brother. Coming for you, Ingvi. Completely giving away your position. <laughs> what idiots! No. Oh. If it isn't Queen Mistletoe herself. Hilarious, by the way. Been a while. I'm dull. <laughs> and you must be the little half-breed's father. Lucky day! <laughs> you have a lot to answer for, Sunshine. You too, traitor. Better a traitor than Odin's lapdog. Hmm. <laughs> oh. The burden is mine. I can help. I know. But you are needed elsewhere. He's right, you know. Sizzles wasn't looking so hot last I saw. I know you didn't want this. But we know how this ends. See you soon. Well, we both know that's not true. <laughs> but don't worry, Frigg. I'll be coming for you and your brother as soon as I am finished. Here. Now, what you got? Really? You are the one who killed Baldur? Whoa! What did Cool Toad Forever do to you? Not going to lie. I'm disappointed. Oh, so aggressive. So angry. Having fun yet? Well, you and me, then! Oh. oh, look! The stick is back! You are rudely prolonging all of this. <laughs> Nobody is coming to help! <laughs> Queen's mistletoe is long gone! It's just you and me and that traitorous head! <laughs> Oh, wait! You expected the stick to give you an advantage? Ah, I can see the resemblance now. Come on! Fight me! Hilarious! The scion of the Aesir brought down by an old geezer's cane. Ha! Any day now. Well, I'm waiting. Throw the spear, brother! 
No. Let's go already. Huh. Nice day. Any day now. What the? I can feel your frustration. It is immensely satisfying. What now, brother? Respair remains our best chance. Hey, careful! These are new braces. Like father, like son. No! You actually hit me! Slow down! Spare me out of pity. <laughs> Let it go, you may live. Is this about the little runt? Oh, now I am definitely going to cut him. <laughs> 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 this is your final warning. I don't think a warning is going to cut it. You think you get to just walk away? No. That is not how this works. You do not 
get to decide my fate! You are dead, sunshine. You are in way over your head! Don't you know who I am? I am the Watchman of the Aesir, the Herald of Ragnarok! That's enough! I am going to find that little mongrel of yours and beat his face into a pulp! Only one of us is walking away from this. And you're sure as shit will not be you. <laughs> How dare you try and spare me? Kratos, that was just... Uh, I don't know if we are breaking fate, or fate's breaking us. At least the rescue's going well. Oh! 
I will carry you. You what? No, I can make it. You cannot. Ow, ow, ow! Easy! To me! Follow! We, uh, got company back here. Oh, no. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, we're almost there, right? Archer's ahead! Oh, seriously? Hey, I'm a train. You okay? Hi. No. Just hold on. All right. We gotta be close, right? On your right. Keep going! We're almost at the river! Oh, How about the girl? Where's the boat? Throw it in the river. Hurry now. That won't hold them for long. Whoa! Freya's boat. They will regroup. We should go. Is 
pleasure seeing your faces. <laughs> Relax. It's flying! We're flying! I knew we would do that. We have guests! There's another one! I knew this was going too smoothly. Uh, little help? They're too fast! Look out! I think that's the end of Birger. You think he survived that? He's down there picking the dirt out of his nails with the beast's feathers. You'll see. He... Uh, <laughs> he has to be. We're almost there, Ingvi. Just hold on a bit longer. I don't suppose I have much of a choice at the moment. Cloth and boiling water. Red root and lamb's grass. I know, I know. You think I never staunch a bleeder before? Oh, now don't you go worrying, boss. I didn't go through any of your stuff while you was off being tortured. Ah, damn it, Linda. Easy. Heck, you says to me for? I'm the one who stuck you like a damn pig. No offense. Freya, mind giving her a hand? We're just taking over entirely? Hold still. She'll just get you stable so I can take you to Sindri's house. The rest of my herbs are there. We'll protect the realm in your absence. The four of us. Vanaheim's in good hands. Party at Sindri's house, then. Huh? Whoever that is. Your boat. Nope. Your boat. Go on. Take it. Sail the skies, sun yourself on its bow. You look like you could use it. <laughs> Make a Vanir god proud. He gave you his boat? Nice. He left me no choice. Because it was necessary, not because it was written.
prophecy holds that Galahorn is the herald of Ragnarok. Whatever it does. I read about it in Odin's library. Supposedly it... Hold it, Treus. We will discuss in private. need that. Heimdall is dead. Good. Is it? Look, I don't know from faith, but I know Heimdall was a prize-winning taint stain with the capital stank. If he was gonna hurt your boy, it's a good thing he ain't around no more. The Norns didn't quite see it that way. The opinion of them three shut-in spinsters ain't worth a goat fart in a hurricane. You did what you did. No need to fret about it. Hope you and your loin sprout ain't got any holes where you don't want them. We are fine. Oh, honey, you don't have to worry about him. Gave him a once over just as soon as Freyr was patched up and on his way. Did you now? I'm sorry, love. Birgu is the one who found me wounded in the jungle when I was trying to find my way back here. Watched over me as I slept. I never thanked him. If you want to thank him, don't get captured again. Promise. I promise, love. What does that mean? Helka smells something. Could be important. Maybe we should follow her. Huh? <gasps> <gasps> 